Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna demonstrate and show you how you can upload a flight plan from Simbrief using Simbrief into Pilot 2ATC and the FlyFactor Airbus 320 Ultimate. And first thing uh, I recommend you to create the flight to go to Simbrief before uh, starting X-Plane or loading uh, the aircraft because the uh, FMC from the aircraft will not load the flight plan that we save from here if you already ha have it on. If you don't have a SimBrief account you can create one, it's free. First we're gonna go to Dispatch so let's create a flight plan. Alright, we're gonna go to new flight plan. Let's say we're flying with American Airlines, right? AAL, flight number, whatever flight number you wanna use, one, two, three. Let's say we're going from LaGuardia to uh, Richmond, right? Now, um, SimBrief will give you an al alternate, uh, alternate uh, airport. Aircraft type, I'll go to Airbus uh, 320, right? Um, if you open uh, Aircraft Editor, you can uh, save and add your aircraft with a lot of details. I'm not going to go into all the details here. I'm going to skip that. Uh, now, this is, again, optional. Departure runway, uh, it's no need unless you know exactly the departure, but anyway, uh, Pilot to ATC will give you the departure runway. So here, if you want to just add some extra fuel, let's say 0.5, uh, you can select that. That's what I do. Uh, altitude, it's set to Auto. You can change that, but then also you can do that in Pilot to ATC. So it doesn't matter. Now here, you know, uh, SimBrief will uh, give you a few options of uh, flight plans. You can uh, just click on the right side, right side here, and select the one you want to fly. Uh, just going to leave the first one. Now, if you want to enter your own, you can analyze the route anyway. Um, this will give you a map. So once you're done set, setting up everything into Pilot Two, I mean into SimBrief, uh, you can save your flight plan. I click in save, yeah, fly plan save, and also we're gonna click on generate OFP. Yes, we wanna generate that. All right, so now once you're done with this, it's gonna give you all the details. Uh, now it, it gives you the map again. Now here, there's a paper, paperwork preview. Now you can click on this one, and this is how you learn. See all these tags and all these numbers. Uh, you don't know what what that means when you go to the preview once you put your mouse over the text it will give you like a short description of what that text See here is the flight number if you go to the next one the flight day the date departure airport identification that's your arrival and all that so this is something that you guys have to do it uh, on your own See everything it was gonna show you in short details what it means and that's how you learn and that's your that's your homework uh, to do that we're not gonna stay here and do that but you do have this option so that's very good so what we're interesting in here actually is the fly plan so here it gives you like a different kind of formats you can save uh, based on what aircraft, but uh, for this video we're interested in Fly Factor Airbus 320. Um, so we're gonna click on download. Now here's where you download, uh, where you save this file. You go to your main X-Plane folder, right? X-Plane 11. You go to aircraft, then you go to Flight Factor Airbus 320 Ultimate. You go to data and then you have this corte.in file now if I save this one here directly like this Windows, I don't know how Mac is 
we'll add the 0, 01 because it sees this file here and we'll add the 0, 01 not to overwrite but that's not what I want I want to overwrite this existing one so what I did I just click on it to make sure the name will stay the same and then see like it's highlighted the corte.in here it's highlighted so I'm gonna save and then it's gonna ask me if I want to replace and then you click yes now the second thing what I do and I like and this is for a uh, pilot to ATC we're gonna go down the the list here and then we're gonna save this xplane11.fms file so I'm gonna click on download there uh, now I like to clip, keep one, keep this one in the same folder in the main explain folder. Uh, now this file you can save it on your desktop. It doesn't matter where. Just make sure you remember where you saved it when you go to Pilot to ETC to know where to grab it from. Uh, I keep mine in the same place, so I'll, I'll go to explain 11 uh, output FMS plans, and then I just save it in here. I already have one, uh, so if I save it, it's going to ask me to overwrite. Uh, obviously, you're not going to have, or if you do, you can just overwrite. Um, so like this, this actually, this F, that .fms file, uh, being into xplane 11 output fms plans, you can already grab the same file uh, fly plan if you fly with the uh, let's say with the uh, with the GPS so it's gonna read it over there but this is mainly for I do it for pilot to ATC so now we're gonna go to load X-plane and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to upload into the FMS okay so we are inside the seam uh, let's go ahead connect the external power let's turn on the batteries here oh, this is too loud let's put the volume down alright external power let's uh just gonna turn on the adheres uh, don't worry about the lights alright we're gonna go to the FMS so here's what what's gonna happen so when you go to initial page you still have to put the information into the right side here so we are Lagarde right K L G A slash forward K R I C right so once I click on this you see I have the fly plan in here now if your screen it's black it doesn't have this information uh, that means something is wrong you didn't do it correctly or it doesn't read make sure you have the, the latest version of the aircraft so you see this is the fly plan and then we're just gonna click on insert right and if I go to the fly plan I have everything in there now this is only the the fly plan now you still have to add your departure and arrivals uh, but it saves you time uh, by not entering like this is a short flight but if you have a long flight and there's a lot of waypoints uh, doing this manually is gonna take you a while or so alright so let's bring um, pilot to ATC uh, it's gonna go ahead and connect to, connect it with the seam LaGuardia information hotel 1600 Zulu weather the radios um, okay so here what we're gonna do we're gonna go on import I'm gonna click on import see if mine already takes me to that folder explain 11 output FMS plans where I saved the file so here I'm just gonna so basically that's you know this is where you're gonna go where you whatever you fly if you uh, save your file on your desktop you will go to desktop and then select the file which will be uh, Lagardia right here to Richmond, right? I'm gonna select that one. I'm just gonna click open, and there we go. So now we have the flight plan in here. Obviously, here again, we're gonna select the seeds. 
Right, if there is any seeds here, uh, let's select that one. There you go. I'm gonna go to star. Right, let's say dot four with evil transition. Okay, load. Approach. ILS 34 with no transition. Let's click load and file the flight plan. Once you do that, obviously you're gonna go back to the FMC and kind of let's uh, go here to the FMC and then you will do the same departure, right? Runway, oh, is it runway 31. Yes, 31. Right, 31. LGA 5. Insert. And then we're gonna go to our arrival to ILS 34. ILS 34. Dot 4 and Nival transition. Insert. And now you have the whole flight plan in there. And that's how you. Set your flight plan very fast into Pilot to ATC and into the FMS from scene brief. Now what you see here, this text here, there are aircraft. Uh, this is traffic global. Now this is okay. Let me show you something here, really quick, and then we we'll end up this. So here's where we are. Right, LaGuardia. Right, if I click on these two icons, it's gonna show me uh, the aircrafts in the air around me. You see them? These guys are landing. Um, now, if you if you use uh, traffic global, in order for a, uh, pilot ATC to show you these uh, aircraft you will need to ping the settings so you go to plugins traffic global settings and make sure you have this use TCAS uh, checked if you do that it will show you all this um, aircraft also another tip um, if you don't want to see all this text, on, I'm on Windows, so you click on an insert key. See now the text is disappear. So now it only shows me the aircraft in the air. If I click it one more time, they're all off, and then do it one more time. Now they're all on. Um, so that's global traffic. And that's how it shows. Now, unfortunately, um, Pilot ATC, yes, we'll see the aircraft around you. It's going to be like 19. So basically, you go to explain AI aircraft and you add. See, they're all traffic global TCAS flights. So it's like you can do all maximum. It won't affect your uh, uh, frames per second. So, uh, uh, explain 11 allows only 19 to be added, uh, and that's that's what it shows here. 19 aircraft around uh, close near near you. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna show you the ground traffic, and then don't expect. Uh, pilot to ATC to tell you to hold shore if an aircraft is landing because I don't think it sees that. This is pretty much it's just to show you the aircrafts on the map. Alright, let's do it. American 123 ready for departure runway 22.
American 123 winds are 272 at 14 knots clear for takeoff. Runway 22 squawk 6424. So that's the problem. So the only thing it only shows you only shows you the, the aircraft on the map. But it doesn't see them. So it's not gonna tell you to hold shore. Unfortunately. Alright, so there you have it. That's it for this video. Until next time. Happy flying.